A first look at ARC on Unreal Engine 5. Fast Flyers for console is still coming. And are we still getting Players a Dino? Yo right, kids, it's Ross Clark and welcome to your regular ARC community news. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share around and let's get into it. So before we cover anything, I've got a giveaway today. One of these, the very last Noglin I believe I've got. And this time I'm going to give this away a bit differently than I have before, but stay tuned till the end of the video and I'll go through that. So first off, there's a few patches, a few drops on PC this morning, and I'm sure they'll be coming to console soon. And you're not gonna like it, Astro Delphis lovers, it's happening again. <laughs> As they are nerfing the Astro Delphis once again by reducing the laser range of the Astro Delphis and it now respects the armor when applying damage. Although this doesn't affect the missions, but once again, yup, the Astro Delphi's got a nerf. It was far too OP to begin with, but I do feel it's getting heavily nerfed now. They're still trying to balance it. They did say they're trying to give it the right sort of tweak, and I think they are dropping it right down. And perhaps we'll see it improve and get a bit better over time, but I do feel that that might be the end of the Astro Delphi's lovers out there. For some time also there was a bug when these things laid babies they will be stuck inside the mama i encountered that issue myself but now that has been resolved so you shouldn't see any issues in getting your babies out anymore they've adjusted the feeding rates on mantises if you didn't know by now of course no death worms spawn on genesis part 2 therefore you can't tame a mantis with death worm horns the alternative now is rhino horns they've now patched that into the game that you can use them at a reduced efficiency rate what that is, I don't know yet. I am going to try and test this out soon and see how big of a difference it is because, of course, rhino horns are a lot easier to come by than death worm horns. But how much of an adverse effect is it going to have by using these horns and reducing that timing rate? Let's find out. And the last patch note is that they fixed an issue with Genesis Part 2 not using the correct oak tree, causing performance problems. Octree. Who knows what an octree is? I haven't got a clue what an octree is. I had to Wikipedia it. Octree encoding is a technique for the representation, manipulation, and display of 3D objects. So to dumb it down, and I could be wrong, it's simply how the graphics is being processed. Of course, creating performance issues that you don't want. Said the lead community manager for Wildcard addressed this recently that he sees a lot of messages about lag and performance. He addresses, and it comes at no surprise, that Genesis Part 2 is the most resource intensive map they've got. It was expected being arguably their biggest map to date. So big in fact that server providers won't allow you to rent servers hosting this map under a certain player limit. Nitrado, for example, have a minimum of 16 slots if you want to host your own server. And if you want to know how to do that, I've got a guide. I'll leave a link in the description. The lag reports certainly are rife. However, you've got to acknowledge that Wildcard are at least doing something about this. Every patch that they bring out seems to have some performance related update. Furthermore, there were some big performance tests on a particular server. In particular, PVE official Gen 2 963, whereby Jat, the senior product manager, went through a load of testing on this particular server to try and improve that performance. And in fact, that's going to serve as a basis to improve every other server out there. He says as much, the testing that went on last night identified some things that they've fixed and they'll be rolling out these changes across all networks. And hopefully that is exactly what we've seen on PC already this morning. Fingers crossed you're getting less performance issues, but if you are, I'll drop a link in the description to the Discord that directs you to a bug report section where you can file these issues as well as server outage and help to hopefully make these servers a bit better in performance. So the infamous fast flies for console, we've been going through this for some months now, my word. It's been some time. And so far, we've got to a point whereby everybody has got a tick box that allows them to turn it on. On console, this is all working on PC, but console have yet to actually have this, just a tick box. And we've heard nothing from the devs since this. However, I've been fortunate enough to speak to the devs about this and find out what's happening. And the response was indeed what I expected that right now the priority is Genesis Part 2. They're rolling out so many fixes in accordance to that map. That yes, it's acknowledged and they're bringing it, but it ain't gonna be soon. 
Jat kindly said that it's in the backlog at the moment and they suspect it's going to be a while longer on that one being fixed as well of course as the infamous PS5 enhancement. <laughs> I've got a theory we're going to see these about one month after Gen 2 when the bug reports and all the server issues start calming down just a little bit. I know it sucks but of course Gen 2 running smoothly is the priority here. They want to make sure everyone's playing that map good and well before they give us the option to make our flyers faster. And that's about it. I wouldn't expect any news for the next few weeks. If I get anything, I will be sure to let you know. But there you go. So the Summer Bash trailer that dropped last weekend. I knew there was something very different about this trailer and it was really bugging me that it seemed to be very different to the trailers we've seen before in how it was filmed. You can see of course the animation, the terrain just looks a bit odd and not quite like the arc that we know, let alone the place that it's filmed doesn't even appear to be an arc map. So I reached out to Kuda Cause the web and video production lead to ask what happened, what was so different about this trailer. And he directed me to a discussion between himself and Nakatas, of course the owner of the mod map Fjorda whereby it was discussed and confirmed this was filmed on Unreal Engine 5, of course the engine they're going to make Arc 2 on. But before you start jumping the gun and think is this something related to Arc 2, it's not I'm afraid, nor is it related to Arc 1, this is simply CUDA cause just testing out some things and dropping some assets into that new engine. And the map is in fact Nanite Megascan Meshes as a backdrop, nothing related to the maps, this is simply Cuda Course just having a little play with Unreal Engine 5. Still, it's pretty cool to see what can be done with a very old asset brought into this brand new engine. Sadly, Cuda Course does say there were some issues with the recording when putting it out to YouTube, which is why it seems a bit off. But there you go, it's a first arc on Unreal Engine 5. And if you want to learn any more about Unreal Engine 5 and the capabilities of that with Arc, Go check it out, I'll leave a link in the description. But there's a lot more surrounding this trailer than we first thought. A massive shout out to Dino King who messaged me on Discord and informed me about this, which I didn't put two and two together. In fact, no one I know did. And this could be leading onto something big. So cast your minds back to a tweet Jeremy, the co-founder of Wildcard, put out early April, which of course I covered in great depth. So Jeremy put out a tweet that alluded to a few things we all thought was coming to Arc Genesis Part 2. One of which of course is in Arc Genesis Part 2, the RTS mode, which of course you can use with the mech. I've got a guide on that too, link in the description. But he brought up something else, play as a dino, that at the time was a big thing. We all thought, wow, is this the return of Primal Survival? Primal Survival was meant to be a new mode in Arc that was teased way back in 2016 that was going to of course allow you to play as all the dinos in their natural habitat and have access to new features and it got canned, it just went away. We didn't see it anymore, it disappeared into thin air. But of course this tweet came out alluding us to believe this was going to be featured in Arc Gen 2 or maybe a mode alongside it, but we didn't get anything like that. Furthermore, I believed that this was then related to the Noglin that you can of course use to control other creatures. But there's two major things going on. One, you can't control ants with a Noglin. I tried, I tested, it can't be done. So why tease an ant in particular? And two, which is the big one for me, listen to the music within the Summer Bash trailer. Okay, you got that? Now, listen to the music in the logo reveal of the Ark Primal Survival trailer. Is this possibly alluding that Primal Survival is actually going to come? It's a reach, I know that they might have just used that musical score and put it onto this new trailer, but there's a few things there to add up to think Maybe, just maybe, we might actually see this. And maybe they just didn't get it out in time for Genesis Part 2. It is pure speculation, this could be nothing. But, I think it could be. What do you think? Comment below, let me know. And finally, a little community wrap up. I'm going to leave you with a video made by Krabbytron, going through a great tactic to tame a Shadow Man. Yeah, I've got my own guide, 
but Krabbitron certainly makes some great points on how to tame one without it being aggroed, of course the hardest issue with a Shadow Main. Definitely go and watch this and I'll leave a link in the description. But of course, you want a Nuggling. The last one I might possibly ever have sitting on my shoulder. Everyone loves these Nugglings and a huge shout out and thank you to you that those have got involved in previous live streams to try and win these. However, I understand that those live streams didn't work too well for people who wanted to use the Discord or not, or people had good internet. So we're going to do it a bit different to win one and I've only got one. All you've got to do is like this video, subscribe and comment in the comments the word Puggling, not Nuggling, Puggling. Just the word puggling. Do that and then I'll use a bot to pick out a winner. I hope that works. I hope that makes it as fair as it can be for everybody to have a chance at winning one of these. But as I said, I think this is going to be my last one. So I wish you all the best of luck. And there we go. I hope you enjoyed this. What do you think about this Primal Survival possible tease? What do you think about Fast Flyers? Are you looking forward to better server performance? And especially for those out there, are you still having BP issues? I'm hearing a lot of reports of people still having primitive BPs in their drops and they shouldn't be. You should all have this fixed by now. And if you do still have this issue, drop a comment below, let me know. But again, thanks for tuning in. My name is Ras Clark. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And as always, peace out.